My name is Anya Taylor-Joy, and today I'll be taking the InStyle's Badass Questionnaire. When I got the call that I booked the Queen's Gambit, I was... I think I knew from the meeting with Scott, but the story of how I got there is kind of crazy. I had finished reading the book, and the second I turned the last page, I was going to be late to the meeting. I just closed the book, ran out my house, ran across the park, ran all the way through London's like Soho area, into the restaurant, and before I even said hello to Scott, I just screamed out, it's not about chess, and she has to have red hair. And he somehow thought I was mentally stable enough to do the job and, and gave me the job, so yeah. Three badass actresses that inspire me are, ooh, Kate Dickey, my first movie mom, uh, Roz Pike, and Tilda Swinton. The first thing I did after winning a Golden Globe, well, it was a, uh, it was on Zoom, so I attempted to wait to be sure that I wasn't on camera anymore, and then I just screamed really loudly and ran around the room like a crazy person. And then eventually when I stopped, I was shaking so hard that my two best friends had to like hold me up for a second. And then I think I ate some vegan fried chicken. And I think, I think that's how I celebrated getting a cold. <laughs> if I weren't an actress or a performer, I would be a travel journalist, or I would work with animals. Yeah. I like big cats and orcas. Beth Harmon was a chess prodigy. One exceptional ability that I have, cats really like me. Like ever since I was a little girl, if there is a cat in the premises, it will end up at my feet or in my lap. Rank the characters you've played in order of most badass. I can't do that, I love them. Um, they're all badasses, just in different ways. I mean, Beth is a badass at chess and battling her inner demons. Casey is incredibly resilient and very, very smart and incredibly empathetic as well. Emma is good at not being tamed while still being able to learn from her mistakes. And Sandy, you're gonna have to watch the movie to find out. One word to describe my character Sandy in Last Night in Soho. Hungry. One thing people wouldn't know about working with Killian Murphy. Um, Kills has exceptional taste in music. I think people know that, but exceptional taste in music. Um, he is very, very kind and always has his snack box next to him. And you do not touch his snack box. That is for Kills alone. Blonde currently, but that's subject to change at any moment. Oh, making people laugh, I think, is really nice. Even if somebody's crying because you really moved them, I'm just like, oh. yeah, making people laugh. Acting whilst dancing, doing the two of them together, that's pretty fun. I love both of them, but I think I'm more of a cat. I'm really missing the cinema right now, so I'll say movies, because I can't wait to go back to theaters. I'm gonna, I'm going to go with Alma. I think um, just because Beth gets to have more of a, a grown-up relationship with her. To act in, horror movies are so much fun. They are like the lightest, happiest, most laughter-filled places you could imagine, because what you're doing is so dark that you need that to keep you semi-same. I'm gonna say Harry Potter because those characters were my first friends in English. It's sad, but it's true. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with OG Harry Potter, yeah. Fashion and beauty. Rank these iconic Queen's Gambit looks. So I'm gonna rank them as to how much Beth feels that she inhabits it rather than she's trying to put on a character. So white coat, one. Uh, Russia look, two. Town's outfit, three, four, and five. Let's do that. My style is inspired by um, movies, books, and music, pretty much. I get really locked onto something, and then I'm just like, ah, oh, I want to be this character in my everyday waking life, so yeah. <laughs> 
My outfit is not complete without a scrunchie. A fashion trend that from the 1960s that I hope makes a comeback is the cute little sets or like the blazer and the top and everything is just together. An outfit that I am the most excited to wear again from Beth's wardrobe is the coat that she wears to Margaret's party. I love that coat. So, true or false, I starred in a Skrillex music video. That is true. That is the first thing I ever did in LA. And I was doing my uh, agency meetings directly afterwards. And so I would show up to the agencies with like sand caked in my hair and like half falling asleep. And they, they still took me on. I don't, I don't quite understand. Um, I hold American and Argentine citizenship. Kind of true, kind of false. I have an American passport and a British passport and I have Argentine residency, which makes me very happy because I would like to live in Argentina again, so that's good. I am the youngest of six siblings, that is true. Uh, my closest sister in age is seven years older than me and yeah, I love them very much. A checkmate in chess immediately ends the game and establishes the winner. Describe a checkmate moment in your life. Yeah, I would say meeting Scott, you know, reading The Queen's Gambit and then going to meet the director and being exactly on the same page. Just from the beginning, we were making the same show and that felt so good. And I do think also because the premise is something that not a lot of people thought a lot of people would be interested in, it was really nice to get together and know that everybody saw the same potential in the story as I did. That felt really, really good. So yeah, I think that's my checkmate moment. Well, that's it. I don't know if I can pass or fail this quiz, but um, I feel pretty good about it. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>